All right, you guys, we're gonna harvest a few things. My jalapeno poppers. Ready for the picking. That's a nice one. But so far, that's what we're working with. Not bad. Not bad. All right, let's get to it. Just got our peppers off of the plants. So we got a good handful here. It's more than what we think because we're going to be cutting those in half. I'm using cheddar and mozzarella cheese. Sprinkle some bacon bits in there too, just for giggles. I've already went out to the coop and got my fresh eggs out to cook, okay? Can't forget the cream cheese, cream cheese. So the first thing we are gonna do is get everything mixed up in the bowl. Okay, we are gonna add, we got our two packs of cream cheese. We are gonna add whole cup of mozzarella, add a whole cup of cheddar, and a whole cup of bacon bits. Yeah, just one cup, yeah. One cup, yeah. Anyway, we're gonna stir that up and make the filling. Okay, now that we got our mix all mixed up. We're gonna use those seeds and I'm gonna put them on a dry paper towel so they can dry out and we're gonna use those next year. Okay, you guys, now all we're gonna do is load up our peppers with the cheese. Pack it on in there good. To this, just pack it. Fill up the whole thing. I even pulled out a couple of red ones. See how that gonna taste. Nice and spicy. Now we got our peppers all filled with our bacon cheese filling. And now we are going to get them in the egg wash and roll them in breadcrumbs. Let's roll. So okay. These are fresh eggs we just got out the coop. Washed them and ready to go. Now all we gonna do Crack them right here. Recycle my shells. Yeah, we go. We gonna see what's in that big mama. Double, double yoker every time. All right, that should do it. Here's our breadcrumbs. I got some seasoned panko crumb for a little bit of extra crunch. And I got some plain old breadcrumbs just for, to get them coated up. So we're gonna roll them through our egg, roll them through our bread, and then get them ready for the cooker. Let's go. Okay, I like to roll mine around in the breadcrumbs first. Before I do the egg wash, give the eggs a little something to stick on a little better. See how that's coated? Much better than just throwing it on top of the cheese. Hit it with the breadcrumbs, pat it down. Much better, much better. That's what we looking for. Okay, folks, here's our finished product before they hit the grease. Now, you don't have to put them in grease. You can bake them, put them in your air fryer. You can do it however you want to do it. You can use anything you want to use. This is just how I do it. So, I'm going to get them over to the stove. We're going to get them in the grease. As y'all can see, I've been canning all day again, getting rid of the rest of those pears. 
I even saved my syrup for them so I could have some for next time. Right now, I had these in the refrigerator for about a half an hour so they just don't go all crazy while my oil is heating up. So I got it on medium high and I think it's about ready. Let's test it out. We're just gonna come over here and we're gonna do a test run. That's a little test run right there. Let's see how it acts. Oh, that's acting right. I think we wanna put in more than that. Oh, that one is doing exactly what I wanted it to do. I'm gonna turn the heat down just a hair. I see it getting brown. These don't gotta cook before a second. Everything in it is already ready. You don't want your cheese to go berserk. There it is. There it is, y'all. So we just gonna set that over to the side. And go ahead and knock the rest of these out. I'm only gonna do a few at a time so I can stay on top of them. That's getting done way too fast. But remember, we ain't cooking nothing. Everything is already done. We just browning it up a little bit. Like that. Giving it a little flavor. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's where we want to be. Right there. See that? That's what we want to look like. So let's just keep on rolling. Use your spatula, set them down in there gently so you don't splash no grease up on you. I'm just used to this, so. I'm doing it my way. Just in case people is watching. So I got it on medium heat now. Cause we don't want that to overcook. We just want it golden brown. We don't want our cheese to melt. That one, he's ready to roll. He's ready to roll up out of there. Look at that. He's next. That's all we're trying to do. We're trying to get it golden brown. Ain't no cooking. The cheese is done. The bacon is done. And the pepper is ready. Bam. I'm going to finish these up and we're going to run a taste test. Look, y'all, this is how the lids get down right here. Oh, that's pretty. That's beautiful. Don't you think so? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I know, I know. We got our, we got our water. Bring that in close. We're going to need a napkin. Okay. We're going to bring this down so y'all can see. What we working with. Mmm, they smell so good. Yes, they do. Smell so good. <laughs> here we go. Ready? Let's get it cracking here. Ready? Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to let you pick. Let me, let me scoot this over. You know I like the light ones. Nice and fluffy. Get, get you one. That one with a tail on it. And I'm gonna grab. I think this was my this was my crash test dummy right here. This was my first one. You gonna taste test the first one? Yeah, he, he just as pretty as the rest. Oh, okay. So, alright, you ready? We gonna get it in a little closer. Okay. You want me to go first? Yeah, what? All right, here we go. It's like I'm sweating just smelling it. All right. Wipe on your head too bad. I know. No, I had on gloves. Oh, okay. Okay, here we go. Mmm. 
Look at that. That looks nice. I told you. It ain't that hot. It got a little, got a little spice on it. But and look, but that's a red one. That's even a red one. It ain't so hot. Go over a little bit so we can see. We had it too far. Yeah, there you go. Mm. See, that's a red one under there. See that red? So, so it's. That's supposed to be hotter. Yeah, the, the redder they get, the riper they are, the hotter they are. <laughs> I told you, y'all. It's that simple. Look. What keep them together, the trick to keeping them together is the mozzarella. Don't worry about the egg. You don't even really need the egg. The mozzarella is what hold it all together. Look at that. Still. Mm, that was good. No way. You don't want the real one? No, man. <laughs> I'm scared. Okay. Get the one I got. Well, come on. I don't even need a drink. What good up? You the one, huh? Get you a little. Oh, that one red, dude. He red. <laughs> okay. Get you a, a cute little green one. He too little. I need filling. Good boy. Excuse me. There you go. Okay. A All green right. one loaded. Okay. All right. I'm still scared. Sapper, this is for you, bro. SCI Family Garden. Don't be afraid. I scared. Don't be afraid. Mm. That is. Mm. Mm. Huh? Well, oh, I skipped all over the pepper, but that filling is delicious. Of course, the filling is delicious. You got it. Look, we grew the pepper. Okay, I'll do some of the pepper. Let me see. Hold on. Because I know that's not. The heat ain't your thing. Mm. I told you they mild. Mm. Huh? I sure hope I don't pay for this later. You want to know what? <laughs> oh, we going to pay. <laughs> but you know where I got them seeds from? Okay. I got them seeds from uh from mm. Walmart. And they just said Mexican pepper. Yeah, the pepper do add that. Yeah. So that's why I'm keeping the seeds. I'm going to replant them next year. Because even the, the red one, see, I still ain't need no drink. Even the red one is mild. So I'm gonna show them to you. <laughs> I'm gonna show you show them to you again. Matter of fact, let me lean the camera so I can really give you a good look. That's what we're working with, y'all. And it's that simple. It's so crunchy. That I mixed breadcrumbs and panko crumbs. 50-50. That way you get the crunch and you get the breading. So you can't go wrong. I didn't use any salt. Any pepper, you can use what you whatever you want, but I'm gonna tell you if you add the bacon or if you add any kind of meat, it's gonna be salty. And if you add salt and pepper, it's gonna get too salty. So, trust me on that. If you add the bacon bits, don't put no salt in it, none because it's perfect. All right, thanks for watching. Lay Farmer 73 and Lady Led, and we out. But I'm going to eat this big red one that she wanted to throw back. This a throwback? Okay, you biting it like that. We're going to see if that's hot. It's too late to find out after. It ain't even hot. No, no. Okay, I believe you. You just need it, right? I need it, yeah. <clears throat> I'm just a little thirsty. parched? <laughs> a little dehydrated. <laughs> That's all. Everybody, thank you for watching Live Fun Observer 3. We love you and we out. <laughs> you in that red. <laughs>